Football season's back. We're here with head coach Mike Clark coming off uh, the end of preseason camp. You've talked a lot over the last year about how you really want to focus sort of big picture on the culture here, get, you know, focus on kids who really, want, you know, high character who want to, you know, work hard and just focus forward instead of looking back on past accomplishments from this program, moving the team forward. How has camp helped you build that culture? This well, year? I think our emphasis is, hey, look out the front mirror, you know, not out of the rear view mirror, but, but we had to study what was in the rear view mirror pretty good. And I do think this, uh, you know, sometimes you got to think uh, the short term and long term are equal partners when you're trying to build a program and an organization. And certainly I've been here a long time and maybe that's not a word they want to hear from somebody that's been around for 23 whatever years. But I also think it's you get to a point sometime where you got to rebate, reboot and rebase. And you know, I'm very proud of the fact that we you know, changed expectations for Bridgewater football and, and I embrace that but, but by the same token when you're not living up to them you can't do the same thing again and again and, and that's been a focus this uh, summer. Uh, I think we got a group of kids that yeah, enjoy being around. Uh, do, do we have maybe the maturity or the depth we need? Probably not but you know that being said I want to make sure this year that when we go out and play a game uh, I've got kids that are all on the same page that uh, play hard for each other and for themselves and then I can live with the scoreboard as I go off the field and then and that's our goal. Uh, my hope is uh, the pundits haven't picked us real high. Uh, we're taking the biblical approach on that and the last shall be first and you know if I've learned anything in my time here in the ODAC um, there's a lot of good teams there's not a great one and sometimes people when you least expect it are the ones that make a run and hopefully this will be the year that that's Bridgewater. A lot of changes on the offensive side of the ball. You have a new coordinator. You've talked a lot about how you want to run the ball this year, and it's going to be three sophomores leading the way at running back, but all got some carries last year, two here, one for Hampton Sydney. Talk a little bit about that side of the ball. Well, I think we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. I think eventually uh, we want to do some things that take the pressure off our defense. Um, I, I think sometimes uh, I know what the vogue, what's in vogue from a football perspective, and even though it's, it can be fun and it can be glamorous, but if it doesn't fit your overall personnel, you, you maybe need to rethink think some things. And, and certainly last year, it wasn't about blame. It wasn't the offense's fault. I mean, there wasn't enough blame to go around, you know, starting with the person in this chair. But I do think uh, we just have to try at this level, uh, as much as I'd like to say, hey, I'm going to recruit to my philosophy. Sometimes you got to philosophize the, maybe a bad word there but your philosophy needs to mold towards your recruits and and that's kind of what we're trying to do on the offensive side of the ball and while you mentioned the lack of some uh, experience and depth you have quite a bit of that on defense you return seven starters a defensive line with four experienced seniors and last year's state rookie of the year you have four linebackers who are all juniors who have played a lot and you know some depth in the secondary too you talked about the speed on the perimeter there but what, what are we looking at on defense I don't know where those seven starters came from but we do have people back on the defensive side of the ball I, I think you know our, our perimeter people do do run very well uh, I think um, we had kids that got on the field, uh, you know, we're like on both sides of the ball, but I'm sure I'll have that in common with everybody in division, most people in division three, you know, we're, we're thin on the offense and defensive lines. Uh, it, it's tough to recruit and, and maintain those kids. And you are right. I think in our defensive line, you know, Muhammad Khan's got some accolades, you know, in his time here. I think the other three seniors have been role players that have to step up and elevate their game to another level for us to achieve our goals. And I do think this, if you play good defense and you gain the advantage in the kicking game, you're probably going to go into most fourth quarters with a chance to win the game. And that's got to be our approach coming out of the gate here. You open up the season this weekend on the road at Gettysburg. That was the team you had one of your most exciting games of the season last year, winning on fourth down, a 65-yard touchdown, catch and run. So you, obviously we know about the offense. They play with the spread wing, and you've defended that pretty well the last two years. But what can we expect this weekend? Well, I think Gettysburg, it's always been a good challenge for us. I mean, we've had some great games with them, and certainly that one last year. You know, in the last three minutes, we had to have a goal line stand, convert two fourth down plays. You know, one was one we're going to hitch it and get out of bounds, and you know, Corey took it 65 yards for a touchdown, and I'm sure that's one of the games that they walked off the field saying we shouldn't have lost that game. But you know, the scoreboard doesn't lie. I think our kids are up for the challenge. Um, you know, my philosophy is if the pundits are going to pick us to go one and nine, I'm going to throw the kitchen sink at Gettysburg, and then the next 10 weeks I'm on house money. Uh, that's that's what we're going to try to do. And 
the way camp goes uh, in Division Three, it's a compressed. Uh, we go hard, and I do think sometimes uh, we saw it a little bit in our preseason game last uh, Thursday, is that when your kids can go out and they can line up against somebody who's wearing a different color jersey who they don't know his name, sometimes that's healthy. And my hope is uh, in this preparation we're going to be able to go up there and I'm going to see kids that can run a little bit that have an extra spring in their step on Saturday.